And now storm tracker weather with meteorologist Paul Bean. All right, we're going to start with those winter weather advisories again. A lot of them did move back because we did see some in the Arco Desert last night. The only th we're seeing in our region is up in Yellowstone and Jackson, and those two regions are going to start to pull back as well at around 11 p.m. Now, in the bottom right corner in Bear Lake County, we're going to continue to see that roll through tonight. A chance of seeing around three to six inches, as well as the southern half of the western Wyoming region. Still seeing this last wave make its way out over the next few hours. So expect that until around 5 a.m. in the morning. And you notice over on the other side of the state starting to build another advisory to come across. The next wave of snow is almost here already. Uh, excuse me, heading into the winter storm mornings, you'll notice a strong wave again. And it seems like they get hit the most, but the western side of the Central Mountains, just out of our region, seeing 5 to 10 through tonight. And expect to see that wave start to move through into tomorrow morning. We are seeing the next wave of snow very quickly, and it's going to bring an avalanche warning on the southern side of the Central Mountains as well. So just be very careful if you're in those regions. Now moving forward into what we already see tonight, those snow layers starting to peel back, make their way into the Wyoming area and weaken. So the worst of it, at least for this wave, is behind us. And this is going to be one of the worst systems we see this week. So as we head into Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, a little bit weaker. Wednesday and the Thursday, a little bit stronger. But for the most part, this has been the worst 24 hours that we'll see out of these systems. You'll notice the storm tracker sees that strong front that made its way through. Still seeing some snow on the front end of it. And that's going to continue through the Wyoming area through tonight. But dry slot behind that making its way in and behind that that low pressure system continuing to dump more and more moisture into our region so starting tomorrow expect to see even more future tracker throughout tomorrow seeing those snow bands again very similar to what we saw yesterday continuing to push through all day long although it breaks up and down the middle as we head towards the nighttime now taking a quick look at what we see through tonight of course weaker snow for the most part 16 in Pocatello 10 in Idaho Falls uh, Central Mountains mostly cloudy 6 in Chalice 11 in Salmon but they'll see that snow make its way in into the early morning then finally, the highlands in western Wyoming do see more snow, a little bit on the weaker side, but still seeing it push through. Four in Island Park, one in Jackson, very single digit out there. And then as we head into Monday, late snow. So we see a break in the morning, late snow in the highlands. More snow moves into the Central Mountains as we see that next wave make its way through. And later snow in the Snake River Plain as well. It, it takes a while for it to move across the entire region tomorrow, but it will make its way back. So enjoy the morning while it's clear. And as we take a look at the uh, Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer's seven-day forecast, you'll notice Tuesday and Wednesday being the worst day for snow as we head into the deeper week. Now, Monday we see a chance. Uh, that's much later in the day. Thursday we see a chance as well, but Wednesday into Thursday might be the heaviest we'll see out of this entire next wave of snow. I don't falls following suit Tuesday and Wednesday and you'll notice a lot of the temperatures do warm up as this next wave of snow moves in. That's some upper 20s in Idaho Falls, mid 30s in Pocatello. So a little bit warmer than what we expect for this time of year. Teton area Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday as well. Friday with it clearing out, seeing a lot of those temperatures stick to the mid upper 20s as well. They're usually a little bit colder than we are. Central Mountains a little bit stronger on Monday and a little bit stronger on Thursday as well, but the snow is pretty much on pattern with everybody else and seeing those temperatures just above freezing. So it's actually warming up a little bit and that's mainly because that snow is going to continue to fall. Man, we're not getting much of a break, no, are we? The last two weeks have been pretty rough. I, I know the snowboarders and skiers mm -hmm. love it. In fact, my it's, daughter, you know, Camry lives in Arizona, and today she was telling me they're trying to get to mm -hmm. a flight out here because they just want to come out and play in the snow. But I'm sure whoever <laughs> ever has to plow the roads is probably not loving it. Right, exactly. <laughs>